Now, if you haven't had the chance to take a look at this video, this was actually uh, posted by somebody in Canada. And what it looks like, let me turn a little bit light on. What it looks like is some sort of a concert. It says the Kaiser, I think it's the Kaiser Chiefs. And it's a short video, it's about a minute. And it's really disturbing to see this sort of behavior. Uh, coming through in the media and of course you can see by looking at this crowd it's, it's a very big crowd of course we're gonna take a listen to this and then give a little bit of commentary during this uh, this little, real brief what looks like a very cult like behavior <laughs> I love this little guy in the corner. I'm here for Moderna. AstraZeneca. You see this guy over here, he's basically like looking back and forth like, did I just step into a cult? He's like, what the hell is going on here? He's like, did I just step into a cult meeting and didn't realize it? You see him looking back and forth. This is actually quite odd. We have, I see this kind of a lot in like Christian churches. And this kind of goes way back to a practice that was done in ancient Israel. This is a lady recording it. And this is just, <laughs> this is really weird, really weird behavior to see, but this is where we are. Very cult-like behavior. Now, this is something that is often, I think Christians mimic what they believe was an acceptable practice in uh, ancient Israel. So, you know, maybe you go to like these different Christian churches. Typically, it's more like maybe evangelical type of, of groups. And they kind of like do like the waving. They get their hands in the air. And it actually is uh, noted from the book of Isaiah. And the book of Isaiah, this was something that was like a practice that was done in ancient Israel. And it says that when you spread your hands out, right? it says when you spread your hands out in prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even though you multiply your prayers, I will not listen. It says your hands are covered with blood. So this was actually a practice that was done in ancient Israel where the Israelites would like raise their palms to the heavens to show that they were in essence clean. And this is what this person is kind of utilizing, like usually utilizing that very similar sort of mentality that the that the ancient Hebrews utilized. And of course it didn't fool God then, it doesn't fool him now and thinking that these people of course have clean hands of course you hear them in the, in the video where they kind of call out did you get the Pfizer right let me see your hands, again. Yeah, let me see your hands. right you see all the crowd and they're all clean hands I'm washing them and of course they're they're considered clean right because they've been vaccinated right these are the different people this is this is the mindset that they're trying to promote this very cult like mindset. He <laughs> said, I love that one guy in the beginning. And you hear everybody shouting, and that, that one guy, that one guy is like just looking around, like, what the fuck did I just step into? Is this some sort of cult that we're about to sacrifice an animal or something? And this is where we're at. Let's hear it for the anti vaxxers. Let's hear it for the anti vaxxers. Boo. And this is, I really love the one point someone posted here that I want, this was a perfect illustration, right? Same vibe, right? I think someone else had posted it as well. It's a little bit bigger, but it's that same vibe, which is that picture of, of all the, the, all the Germans, you know, kind of saluting, saluting Hitler. Here it is. Yeah. It's the same sort of, that's what the other guy was posting. And it's that same sort of environment where you kind of, you get all the sheep together and you kind of, you know, you get them to rally around a particular people to hate. And this is what people are saying. We're, you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. 
and it's why you know for how long has this you know teaching point have been around right ordinary people the courage to say no right so you have all these people that are out there saluting and then you've got the one guy that's just not looking to do not looking to be a part of the crowd and so for how long have we seen this illustration utilized to teach people not to go along with the crowd but yet here we are you know in 2021 it's almost 2022 and of course that poor guy not realizing oh shoot i think i just walked into i think i just walked into a cult meeting not realizing it but it's so strange to see you know this kind of behavior being utilized you know in these areas in our what we refer to as modern times we think that we're so you know we're so far ahead of all oh, those Neanderthals, those crazy people that believed in witchcraft and voodoo and we're going to burn the witches at the stake and all that sort of stuff. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. You know, we've got cars, we've got different sort of clothes, but nothing has changed. And it's why it's important, you know, if you opt to take a stand that we may be facing very similar times as in the times of Hitler's and the Stalin's and different periods of time where people have chosen to utilize and weaponize you know ideologies for the purpose of putting individuals to death I think someone someone says that here says well, the religion cult of the vaccine has started this is uh, for false Christ and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders to deceive as possible even the elect and I think some people have talked about some good you know some good talking points in this in this in this thread how it's just you know very cult-like behavior and it's quite unfortunate you know at this point in time in history where it's it literally is as they say that those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it and we are li literally it's like groundhogs day all over like it's like we're back in the 1900s and the germans are around and the nazis are walking around you know hail hitler or do you support you know the regime etc and this is what we see on on social media, even here in places with the mandates. You know, if you don't take it, well, then you know you're you're good today. But if you come back tomorrow and you don't have the vaccine, you're fired. And and this is basically this is basically where we're at. And so there's going to be a lot of hard choices for many Americans who just don't want to be a part of the narrative. And you may just have to go your separate way. And of course, it may revolve around walking away from friends and family, etc., uh, who have drank the kool-aid nothing you can do about that uh, but in the long run time is on your side in the long run time is on your side eventually people will come to realize that they were wrong in what they were doing but the results will be to their detriment they, they are not on the right side of history of what these individuals are doing neither the outcome right because these people don't know what the outcome is going to be of taking this particular medication have no idea what the long-term side effects are going to be. We just recently Pfizer removed what was it, um, Chantix that was utilized for uh, smoking withdrawal, I believe, smoking cessation, and then it turns out it caused cancer. It turned out it caused cancer, but of course it was approved, you know, by the FDA for 15 years before they finally pulled the drug from the market, and they were like, oh, you know, you've, you've caused cancer in how many people? But People are idiots and people will never learn and it's just like the Bible says you know my people suffer due to a lack of knowledge but for those of us who are knowledgeable do not go the same route and fall victim to what these individuals are letting themselves fall victim to the the same herd mentality that many of old fell victim to to their own detriment anyway I'm gonna leave it there of course thanks for watching hope everything's going well with you Keep up the fight, hold your, you know, stand your ground, hold the line as they say, and I'll catch you next time. Feel free, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you out next time.